The Environmental Protection Agency Tuesday published the final rule repealing the waters of the U.S. rule. The EPA and the Army Corps of Engineers effort repeals the returns the law of provisions prior to 2015. The new rule will go into effect December 23rd. However, legal challenges are expected from environmental groups. First announced in September, the American Farm Bureau Federation at the time called the rule a victory for farmers and ranchers. Well, here's some good news about the environment. The hole in the Earth's protective ozone layer has shrunken to its smallest size in record since its discovery in 1982. Scientists say this is due part to a warmer weather condition in the stratosphere. Now, they also are warning that that doesn't mean the ozone is on a fast track to any sort of recovery at this point. NASA describes the ozone as a sunscreen and it protects us from the harmful cancer causing ultraviolet radiation that can also have negative impacts on our immune systems and damage plants. The cattle industry welcomed legislation introduced this week that would provide grants to certain state land grant universities to better equip livestock producers with risk management training. South Dakota Republican Representative Dusty Johnson this week introduced the Livestock Risk Management and Education Act in the House of Representatives. The National Cattlemen's Beef Association says the bill speaks directly to the core values of the industry, adding that the legislation gives producers the latest farm management resources and tools to help them navigate dynamic markets. And finally, new legislation in the Senate would support rural health care providers to deliver high-quality care. It was introduced by Kansas Republican Pat Roberts and Nevada Democrat Catherine Cortez Masto. The Rural ACO Improvement Act would fix a glitch in the program. I'm Susan Littlefield on the Rural Radio Network. You already know that choosing clean-burning American ethanol blends at the pump can reduce risk to human health. Well, during October, choosing blends of unleaded 88 all the way to E85 can actually help fuel a cure for breast cancer. Because for every gallon you buy, your participating retailer will contribute three cents per gallon to breast cancer research at the Fred and Pamela Buffett Cancer Center. Visit fuelthecure.pink to find a participating American ethanol retailer near you. That's fuelthecure.pink.